Lesson 8.3, Estimate Lengths in Inches. To estimate an answer means we find a good guess that is close to the real answer. And we can estimate the lengths of objects in inches by thinking of an object that is about one inch long and how many of them we would need to equal the length of the object. In this lesson, We'll be using the color tile ruler we made in video 8.2. If you haven't seen it, it's linked in the description. If you haven't made one, that's okay. You may be able to watch this lesson without it. So to get a good idea about lengths, a small paper clip is about one inch, a new crayon is about three inches, and a dollar bill is about six inches. Here we have a blue line and we can see there's a paper clip underneath it. And the paper clip is one inch long. We can use this paper clip to estimate the length of the blue line. Two inches would be too short. That's one inch. We could put more than two paper clips under the line. Four inches is about right. We can imagine putting three more paper clips here to have a total of four of them. They're each one inch, so four inches is about right. And six inches is too long. We can't imagine having six paper clips here. That would be way too long. So four inches is about right. Here, we need to circle the best estimate for the length of the line. So this green line, we can see we have a paper clip here that's about an inch. Do you think this green line is one inch, two inches, or three inches as a good estimate? We can draw a little dot here. If that's one, then that would be two paper clips. That would be three paper clips. So a good estimate would be three inches. Here we have this purple line. Can you imagine more paper clips here? Our choices are three inches, five inches, eight inches. Well, if this green one is three inches, then the purple one can't be three inches because it's longer. See, coming down from here and going this way. If that's three inches, then this point would be three inches. So it can't be three inches. We can imagine if that's one paper clip, that would be two paper clips. That would be three paper clips. And we can do about one, two, three, four, five paper clips. So five inches would be a good estimate. I can't imagine fitting eight paper clips underneath this purple line. Here we have a one inch mark, a green line, and a yellow line. And it's telling us to use this one inch mark, estimate the length of each line. How long do you think this green line is? If that's one inch, what's your estimate? If that's one inch, then that's got to be about two inches. That's got to be about three inches. We would have one, two, three, four. So my estimate would be about four inches. What about this one? If this is four inches, what do you think this one is? My estimate would be five inches. It looks like this little extra piece longer than the green one is about an inch. So I would estimate that it's about five inches. And we can check our estimates with our color tile ruler that we made. We put one inch color tiles and we drew a line and then put it the color tile here and drew another line and we made this six color tile ruler and we can put it underneath the green one here let's see if we can line this up we need to line them up here and line it up we have one two three four so four was a good estimate for the green one we can line it up underneath the yellow one we line up this black line right here not the edge of the paper but the first black line here we line it up with the end of the yellow line 
and we have one, two, three, four, five. So five was a good estimate for the yellow line. Dave has a string that is the length of four toy cars. Each toy car is three inches long. How long is Dave's string? We think well, one toy car is three inches. The string is as long as four toy cars. We can think of four equal groups of three inches and use repeated addition. We can make a rectangle for each toy car. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's four toy cars. They're each three inches long, so we have three inches plus three inches plus three inches plus three inches. Three plus three is six, and three more is seven, eight, nine, and three more is 10, 11, 12. So 12 inches would be about how long Dave's string is. We used repeated addition to help us. Sarah is putting beads on pieces of string. Each string is seven inches long. Each bead is two inches long. How many beads will fit on each piece of string? And we think we can count equal groups of two inches and use repeated addition. We can draw a picture to help us. One bead is two inches long. Another bead would be another two inches. So now we have two plus two. If we draw another one, that would be plus another two. And two plus two plus two is six. So right here, we're at six inches. It says her string is seven inches. So that means her string would be the length of half of one of these beads, wouldn't it? It would be like, if this is two inches, half of it would be one inch. So that's seven inches. Well, three beads will fit. We can't fit another bead. We can't fit another two inches in this last piece of the string, the last one inch. So how many beads will fit on each piece of string? One, two, three beads. She's gonna have a little bit of string left over, but we can't fit a bead on it. So the answer is three beads. In our next lesson, 8.4, we're gonna be measuring objects with an inch ruler. So if you have one, get it ready for the next lesson. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you have a really good day, and I hope you'll join me for next time. Bye.